All right, what's up, you dicky diners? Austin. What? I have beer. Is that what this is? I got beer. I was going to say, I thought it was like a weird new table yeah. top, top design. Yeah. Well, it should be. It should good, always good look like this. Good for acoustics. Yeah. <laughs> it's glowing always. down. So this is a fall festive Halloween beer tier list. You can make that all pop up on the screen. Yes, that's the title <laughs> of the video. So this is either having to do with fall and like pumpkin-y or, or festive or spicy, or it has to do with candy, which is, you know, Halloween candy. So it's like, white girl heaven is what you're saying. <laughs> Dude, yeah, for sure. So I went and I found these. I believe there's 11 of them. Where's the pumpkin spice white claws? Hey, maybe I got those too, okay. So I thought maybe it'd be fun for us to, because we used to do this. Yeah, I mean, we just have how it could it not be fun? Just, just slogging back some fucking brewskis with the boy? That Let's we've never it. had. I've never had any of these. I Dude, don't know. Yeah, if, should, they're not popular. Take a guess right now. Will this be demonetized for beer? Well, if it is, you can watch the whole thing on Patreon, because we'll put it up there then. That's a good point. Yeah, and we have but we have a Patreon, by the mm -hmm. way, so go check. The beer video will be right under our, what was it, the... Creaming with the Island Boys, is it? Yeah. I think that was our newest video we just uploaded. That was, that was the new perk we added mm -hmm. to Patreon. It was the new beer flavor. Yeah, hanging out with the Island Boys. <laughs> All right, so let's get right into this. Without further ado, let's start with this one. So we're going to each open one, or are we just doing one at a time? So we have, we have a couple glasses. So we're going to open one, just pour, a couple cups. pour, pour, and, and taste. Mm -hmm. Pour Fabler. So this one is Atomic Pumpkin Spicy Release. Spicy Release? Says spicy. <laughs> I'm assuming pumpkin um, spice. Yeah, is that when you get a hand yeah. job in Mexico? Spicy release? <laughs> Atomic pumpkin spicy release, 6.4% alcohol. It says Voodoo, Voodoo Ranger brand. Oh, here we go. Somebody help me. This will be fun. Austin, I'll let you pour your own. Gotta sniff it first. It smells like, it smells like corn. <laughs> Spicy special release. I don't know if I like the smell, but Ugh. all right. Yeah, it just smells like stale uh, apple cider. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Yeah, something kind of weird. It's been left out a little bit. Hmm. Oh, interesting. That's pretty good. Yeah, there's, there's like a, there's like a like a caramely thickness. Yeah, it. it's I was like just it's like spicy initially, but there, there's like a thick. The spice is getting mm -hmm. my throat now. Thick and spicy. That's an interesting combo. It's almost like a, it's like a heat. It's got like a cayenne or something. Like a, it's like a, it's like a heat. heat. It's some sort of hot. <laughs> okay, so no, it's brewed with pumpkin, cinnamon, and chilies. So it does have a spice to it. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a, like a throat scratcher. That's little, not bad. Got a little goblin claw. A little goblin claw yeah, going yeah. down. <laughs> <laughs> a little cat scratching your throat <laughs> on the way down. <laughs> so cool. Atomic Pumpkin by Voodoo Ranger. I'd give, what would you give that? I would, uh, I mean, it's easy to drink, but I don't desire it, if yeah. that makes sense. Like, it'd be hard to drink a six-pack of that just because it's like, I'm not excited to drink this. <laughs> but, I mean, it's if it's a, it was an IPA or just a normal uh, Belgium. This, it doesn't say. It says New Belgium. I mean, I could see, if you like spicy drinks, this is like a, a solid balance where it's definitely a tongue tingler, but it's not, yeah. like, crazy. It's good. Mm -hmm. I'd give it, like, a six. Yeah, I'd give it a passing grade. A six would be... Would be good. I don't think it's too crazy of like, whoa, you got to try this, but yeah, it's definitely very drinkable. Yeah, <laughs> six yeah. is a good score. There's nothing I gross about that. it, right? There's yeah. nothing, it's, it's actually pretty good. All right, this next one is called Left Hand Brewing and it is Oktoberfest. Am I allowed to have this? I'm ranking. Oh no, Oktoberfest Martin Lager. Martin Lager. Lager. This one is 6.6 percent .6 alcohol. That's a cool, uh. Cool little dude. Yeah, it looks. It, it reminds me of a cool little guy. Like if you were to get like um, some sort of bar food at in like Germany or something. Those, yeah. Like if they had the the little red and checkered, red and white checkered, but it's right. blue and blue and white. Very All right. Cool. Oktoberfest, Left Hand Brewing Co. You ever watch Beer Fest when you were younger? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I did. I rewatched that recently. It does not hold up very well. <laughs> I don't remember it at all. I was very young. I was probably like 14 when I watched it. It's that. funny because it's like definitely like a rated R type of thing, but yeah. when we were younger, it was like the funniest shit ever. But yeah, watching it now, I'm like, damn, this is like very childish humor. <laughs> like yeah, if oh, I was 13, sure. I'd be like, bro. Well, that, that was like the era of boobs. all those. <laughs> That was like scary movies and all right, at the yeah. same time era, all mm -hmm. those are popping off. All right, cheers. Uh, Oktoberfest by Left Hand Brewing Co. Very faint smell. Mm. 
It's like malty. It tastes like a Bud Light with like just kind of a weird aftertaste. Yeah. Yeah. This is just kind of, yeah, this is just like a very light tasting beer. Like you said, mm -hmm. but kind of Bud Light, but like Bud Light Plus, it has a little extra something in it. It's like Bud, Bud Light, but it worked in the field all day. <laughs> I'm trying, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to identify what that aftertaste is, and I don't know. It's kind of weird. It just tastes like barrel. It tastes like, like, like kind of barky, like dirt. Yeah. Like earthy. It's got some, like, it's got some soot in the bottom of the barrel there. It's got some, like, we lost World War II type of bitterness. <laughs> what is, what is that? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'd give that one probably, like, a four. Yeah, I don't Personally. care. I don't care for this one too much. This the atomic pumpkin I think is a lot better than the Oktoberfest. Yeah, by like a uh, considerable amount. Mm -hmm. Would you give it a four? Like it's not putrid, but it, I don't. I well, like, so the after if I had to drink this, I would, but I don't like it. Right, like if you go to a party mm -hmm. and they have That's Bud just Light, beer, though, I guess. Like it's you would drink it, but there's that. I'd weird... actually probably prefer Bud Light over that. I was about to say yeah. I don't think I like the aftertaste. Yeah, the, what you said, you said some sort of like dirt to kind yeah. of. Yeah. It's which better. is like it's typical in like beer obviously that happens. but this this almost feels like this is specifically like spoiled or something like there's it's like, the, like the beer is wrong I, I do like a, like a three or two yeah honestly. pretty pretty low score i'm not feeling that one too much yeah i agree i i, I would it's not pretty strong it though i guess you said right i guess it has uh, six point six i believe uh, it's a little bit more than the last one 6.6. 6. All right. Spot for not being an IP. Uh, this next one is called Rogue Bat Squatch. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a cool... I always see that design, but I've never actually got it. Yeah? It looks pretty cool. It's a very cool design. Hazy India Pale Ale, and it is like supposed a... to be on the tropical citrus side. Yeah, keyword supposed to be. Uh, Anytime a beer's like, it's tropical, I swear. <laughs> no, it's not. Dude. And then it says, pair it with white cheddar, grilled salmon, or strawberry shortcake. Hey, that's pretty cool. I've never seen a beer offer pairings before. Yeah. It is 6.7% alcohol. Damn. So it's just slightly right. more so than the Oktoberfest. Hit me with this Scooby-Doo-ass villain looking drink. It looks good. It looks like a, like a nice color Ooh, to it. I touched my nose. Nice little, nice little... Ooh, smells strong. Oh. I think this is, I think this is probably the strongest smelling one. Baba booey. Ooh, it, I, don't, I don't know. I definitely don't like how it smells though. It's kind of weird. A little bathroomy. It's a little, a little weird, right? A little, a little public restroomy. It's like like cheap floral soap. Yeah, it's a little weird. It's a little weird. Hey, che 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 cheers. Sorry. All right, rogue bat squash. Oof. That is, that's quite strong. It's very citrusy. Yeah. It's like rind citrusy. Yeah. Which is typical when beers say they're citrusy. Which makes sense with the uh, India Pale Ale. I always find those were a little bit more... Mm -hmm. On the rindy side. On the rindy side. Um, that's not bad. I like it more than this one. Not more than this one. I think so far the one to beat is Atomic Pumpkin. Yeah. This I, one's the worst. I would definitely, yeah, I would put that above the last one we had, but yeah, I would prefer the pumpkin still. And then this one. This one's strong though, right? This, what was the percentage on this one? 6.7. That's pretty, so it's pretty it's the highest one so far. By 0.1. Yeah, but it's mm. at least better tasting than the last one. Yeah. It, it's quite strong though. It's, it's very strong. Being, it tastes like a IPA considering how not dense the uh, content is. If I drank like three of these, I'd probably be like so full. It just feels like a very yeah, filling very beer. Thick beer. Yeah. Very. Uh, it's not even hoppy, but it feels like yes and full. Yeah. I yeah. Was, I don't really care. For I'd this put one. it at number two. I'd put it at two, but I'd leave a big gap. Between. Yeah, we'll put this one over here, and this is first yeah, place. Yeah, that's a, I like and that. And this is second place. So Ooh. for now, well, for now, for now, for now, because we only have three. It's yeah, it's okay. It's not bad. Yeah, um, not my favorite. It's just that bitterness. It's like my body doesn't want me to have it. Yeah, it kind of gives me like a weird. It's like it's like the reason that you don't eat the rind of a fruit, where it's like designed to be bitter, so you don't get the goodies. And yeah, so right. I'm like, dang, you left out the good part, bro. <laughs> Where's the good part? All right. So this next one is called Black Circle American Stout. Oh, cool ass uh, sticker. Dystopian State Brewing Company. Let me see it there. Looks pretty cool. It is 6.5% alcohol. So. These are all mar margining pretty close. 0.2% less than that one. 
IBU scale 28. Uh, I don't know enough about beers to know IBU scale, what that means. You don't know the IBU scale off fucking rip? <laughs> I don't, dude. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get into this. Ooh, let's this one's dark. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, fuck. I would, ex I would expect nothing less from something called Black Circle. That is, that looks like a Guinness. It's very, very stouty. Yeah, very it stouty. smells just like... <laughs> Black circle. Very, it's got a strong coffee smell. Oh, yeah, it does. Cheers. I think I need to start pouring a little less. Because these aren't good. I'm just fucking doubting this shit. It, is, it tastes like black coffee. It tastes like a Guinness. You don't like it, do you? Yes. <laughs> you hate it. No. I don't like coffee, though. I don't really drink oh. coffee at all. And it just, yeah, it just tastes, I literally just tastes like I'm drinking, like, a, like I left this coffee out yesterday. Yeah, yeah. And it's become cold now <laughs> from the dew of the morning. And I know. So it's I, coffee I, plus morning dew. Yeah, it's like, it's like coffee that is just like, why don't you just make a fresh batch? And it's like, <laughs> cause I fucking hate myself, I guess. Uh, mm. Yeah, I mean this, I don't want to downgrade it because I don't like coffee. Cause it, it's not like a strong coffee. I it's, like it. It is kind of like light it's, on that intensity. Yeah, this is like you would kick back at the end of your day and you'd have one. It seems to me like it, it's very, very heavy. Bro, who's just having one beer? And well, I'm saying I could. That, my point is that I couldn't have more than one of this. It's very, very, very there's, heavy. There's something hidden in the aftertaste that is a little pleasant. I'll give it that. Yeah. There's something that like when it leaves my mouth completely and it's just on my tongue. Yeah. There's, I'm like, oh, what is it? It's kind of almost like a. Like when you eat like a cherry too close to the pit and it mm -hmm. has like, you're like, oh, there's like a contrast here. Oh, yeah. You mean like the arsenic in the pit? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <it's> the... <laughs> All so right. Uh, let's see. So Black Circle, I would probably put it. I'd put it above the, the bat. The, yeah, I would too. I still like the pumpkin bat. I would probably drink more of the bat because this is just a lot. But the flavor yeah. of this is a lot better right. than it's this. It's like cake batter ice cream. You're like, that was a great one. One, one spoonful. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Give me vanilla. <laughs> All right. I'm excited for this one. Let's move on. This one is the... Because I'm uh, a child. It's candy flavored, apparently. Maybe it's an IPA, well. So it's uh, Gummies Fruit Punch IPA. And it's uh, it says a hazy double IPA bursting with bright citrus and fruit flavor. It is 9.5%. Dude, I'm going to be drunk by the time oh. we have Tony on here. <laughs> so this is, the, this is the stankiest one so far. No, it's just your bird, bro. So. <laughs> it has nothing to do with that beer. <laughs> and this is from... Sweetwater Brewing Company. Oh, wow, you know, Sweetwater. Shout out, shout out Sweetwater. I didn't know, know Sweetwater made, uh, made brews. That's so funny. Okay. Um, oh, it smells fruity. It looks like piss. Takes one to know. It's piss, I mean. You're a piss. You're a piss guy, aren't you? It kind of smells like bad candy, though. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It's a little I, bit. I love the descriptor. It kind of smells like bad. <laughs> it smells like bad candy. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's pretty funny. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it totally does. No, it's like, yeah, you're like, sniff, guys. like you, you forgot I mean. you had candy in the back of your car for like three weeks. Yeah. And you found it and you're like, there's like a mystery liquid. It's yeah. like when you let the sugar sit too long and it liquefies. All right. <sighs> Cheers. Dude, I think I'm buzzed. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh yucky. It's very malty. There's like four flavor hits it like you in order. Oh, the breath out tastes like candy. That's interesting. <laughs> that, what a surprise treat. You gummies? Have to, you Does have it to, taste like gummies? Yeah, you have, yeah, it literally tastes like the Swedish fish when you breathe out afterwards. You have to like drink this shit to get that delicious, oh, <laughs> at the end. It's like the min after dinner, but your dinner was somebody's fucking dick. <laughs> just like god i really gotta eat this dick to get that delicious mint <laughs> so this i'm not gonna like. lie though this just it really does taste like kind of bad for loco ah. and that's saying something it's pretty bad i don't like it at all that's cool though you like it that's just just the after i hate the beer it's disgusting but there's something it's like goes it's like having a wiggle shot when you take a we drink pickle juice after a whiskey and you're like that was kind of crazy, but like, hold on now. You're not getting it? No. 
Maybe you got that cilantro gene. Oh, no. <laughs> Bro, I don't uh, want to drink the rest of this. I, okay, this is gonna, we're going to be split here because I think I would drink this over the coffee one because it'd get, really? me, fu- it'd get me fucked up. And I that breath out makes me forget about the rest of the gross part. So. But this is going to be that type of drunk where you wake up the next day and you are you can't move. You're so hungover. Well, what's the sugar content in it? I don't know, actually, if it has a lot. It says 9.5 alcohol. 9.5 alcohol. 9.5 alcohol. This, it doesn't say uh, if it has sugar or not. Why not? Um, interesting. Dude, it's weird how alcohol does that. There's like, <laughs> it's really hard to find the ingredients on the back of an alcohol. I don't know what that's about. Uh-oh. Oh, there it is. Where would you put this in the ranking? Personally, but it would be my number two right now. Because I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm like this. Yeah, there's. I think it's there's something in like balancing it because it's it's such a high con- contra or alcohol content. So like, okay, I could probably get drunk off of like two of these, and I can work through it because of that delicious after breath. But the drink itself is quite tough to get through. So I'm kind of torn where it's like I think I can justify drinking it because of like the benefits that are there. But as itself, it's like that play. I agree with you. The flavor's quite bad. I was having yeah. fun until we drank that. Oh, yeah. Now that's I'm that bad. not having fun. Yeah, I'm, I would. Bad. I would rather to drink me, it than the coffee bad. one, okay, and the squash, okay. But Damn. I would prefer the atomic still. Okay, so it's either somewhere here, or well, if you hate it that much, we got that's got to be here. worth something. It, well, it's definitely not there if you think it's that bad. Maybe in the, I wouldn't put it there. You maybe, can put it there. If you maybe want. after the coffee one, is that a fair contrast? Yeah. Would you drink that point. over the squash or no? Over this? Yeah. Uh, Probably not. No. I really don't All right, like let's it. swap them. Let's swap them. These two? Yeah. Okay. I'm fine with that. Because I do agree with you. The flavor's quite bad. But it's really bad. There, there's just like some rewards in it that I, I find to make it a little higher. There's some the nice... The last one? Nice Just get the last one a little closer. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll actually move it a little bit more this way. But still, you're by yourself. Yeah, get your oh. league still <laughs> leagues worse than the gummy. Oh, this is a bad idea. <laughs> a bad idea. Our okay. parents when we wanted to become YouTubers. Our parent, my, this is my our parents when they had me. My parents when they had me. Don't you're not supposed to reveal the brothers, dude. What a crazy twist that would be. Right, or we do Actual a family brothers. tree and find out we're long lost bros. All right, moving on. Are you sure? All right, this is from uh, Shipyard Brewing, and it's called Pumpkin Head. It is 4.5% alcohol, so it probably doesn't have that nasty malt flavor as the last one. Mm-hmm. Um, and you see, you get a cool little graphic of a pumpkin head guy with his beer going, yeah, I'm <laughs> drunk. Two comments. One, that should be, that would be way cooler if it was the pumpkin head monster from like the dope. I agree. Like a uh, practical costume thing. And also, two, do you think when Jack goes down on Sally, it's called pumpkin head? I've never thought about that, but that's genius. No, I think it's pronounced Guinness. <laughs> That's genius. <laughs> okay, let's see. You're getting my order. Uh, I'm just not even pouring it good. It smells like a loaf of bread mixed with. Oh, you Don't know what it smells wife. like? It smells like. It smells like pumpkin bread. It, yeah. Literally. Fair. Yeah, I guess that makes sense with the weedy barley and then the pumpkin part. <sighs> Dude. That's not bad. I have five more to get through. <laughs> This one's kind of shaped like nothing. It's not bad. It's It gives you that, it, it's kind of like how you said when you exhale and you taste the gummies, I exhale and I taste pumpkin bread. Yeah, there, there's a, like the, the spice of the pumpkin is like a little tingly on the tongue as well, which is a kind of a fun thing. Mm-hmm. That one's pretty good though. I mean, it's really light, which I enjoy. It's like very drinkable. It's yeah. not dense as fuck. Uh, I, th- I think, I mean, I liked it more than the coffee one. The coffee one's pretty high in our r- list right now. I'd probably, but, I would agree 100% actually. Yeah, that seems like I a better barrier. I think that barrier. should be mm-hmm. what it is right there. Yeah, this feels right. We could just throw that one away. <laughs> stay, stay over there. That one was not good. Okay, I might lessen the uh, the amount I'm pouring here. Pussy. <laughs> we got a <laughs> podcast to do still. <laughs> We're going to be drunk for the podcast, bro. All right, sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. This is called Pumpkin Spice Yeti Imperial Stout with Coffee and Spices. 
prove it, dude. 9.5% alcohol content. Normandy, oh, what is it? Normandy batch. <laughs> Brewed and canned by Great Divide Brewing Company in Denver, Colorado. Does Colorado have uh, <coughs> Yetis? Or... <laughs> Oh my god, that's even darker than the last one. Oh. Holy shit. Oh, it looks like primordial ooze. That's so dark. That's that's even darker than the last one. Oh my god. Why did I pour so much? I was like in awe of how dark it was. Uh. Oh my god. Uh. It doesn't smell crazy. It smells like a Guinness, yeah. Stop saying that. <laughs> Get in the way. It's not terrible. It's not great. <laughs> it's too. It's too much alcohol. I, I hate it. If it, if this was like a six percent, I think it'd be really good. It's like it's just too strong. I mean, because that's like that's the taste you don't want to taste when you're throwing up, and that's exactly what this is going to lead to. Is that? Yep. It's not good. I would. I would actually. Well. Nope. I think I would prefer to drink the gummies one more, to be honest, than this. That's. It's just, it's just so much, man. It's way too much. It's way too strong. It's way too alcoholy. Oh, that one's rough. It's like. That's and like it won't, it's won't leave my mouth. Either. You're eating a loaf part. of bread when you drink this. Ugh, and, like a bad and there one. I will it is there is no pumpkin spice in this. That's whatsoever. supposed to be a pumpkin one? Pumpkin that's spice. All yeti. That's all yeti. yeti. That's is all yeti. There's no <laughs> it's just a yeti dressed up like a man who's like, I just don't know how beer works. I'm not getting pumpkin spice at all. It's giving radioactive. Yeah. No. If that was really bad, I didn't like it. Uh it, the, I, again, my mouth is just beaming with bad taste. It's not good, and I wish that I hadn't had that one. All right, well then, let's move on. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I can rinse out this bitch. No, oh, don't do it. This next one comes from Brewer Wheat. <laughs> Brewer Wheat. This next one from the Widowy Brewery. <laughs> <laughs> this next one is from Brewery. Oh, my gang. Brewery. <laughs> and it's called... <laughs> Shut the <laughs> fuck up. Hey, what, what do ghosts make uh, for their significant other? <laughs> Brewery. It's, Brewery. Uh, it's called Dream Patch Fruited Sour with cherry, <laughs> with cherry, blueberry, and raspberry. It is 6.5%. Alcohol. Hey, let me tell you, I'm digging most of them berries. All so of them. this yeah. falls into the category of Halloween candy. Does, does it? Not fall specifically. Mm -hmm. It's more candy like Halloween. Halloween. This might actually be a good break from the beer because I think this is just going to be like a seltzer. I think. I don't know. Woohoo. Oh, I'm going to puke. Okay. <clears throat> Give me a second. <sighs> Oh, smell it. Very faint smell. <laughs> yeah, like a LaCroix scent. Very faint. <laughs> Don't let me laugh too hard. I'm going to throw up. I should make you laugh more, is what you're saying. Whoa. Whoa. I like that. That's the best one. I love sour beers. Number one by all of them. Look at that sour beer. <sighs> oh, yeah. That's so sour. Mm, that's great. You love that. I love that. Where would you put that? Way up front. Like way up front. Mm -hmm, not even close. I'll drink that whole can. That's great. I love that. I love sour beers. That's amazing. Have you ever had like a grape that wasn't ready yet? Oh yeah. Oh, and it's like when I was a kid, I used to. <laughs> my parents had like wild uh, raspberries, mm -hmm. and I would go and only pick the green ones, yeah. and I'd eat the green that ones. Fucking, that intense like tartness is crazy. Or rhubarb. Sourness, in fact. Rhubarb is crazy. Rhubarb really good. Rhubarb pie goes dummy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Or do you rank it? Not there. You look like you're having a rough time. I'm just in general yeah, having a rough time. Is that just the amount of drinks we've had, or is that? I don't. The... I think that's actually pretty good. I'm gonna let you have that. Yes. 
I would probably put it around second or third, mm -hmm. but it is really good. Yeah, well, it doesn't have to I'm just commitment. personally having a hard time. That's great. I'll, yeah, I'll, this so what, bleeds but the best for me. I will. Uh, uh, I will allow this. Baba booey. All right, next up, we have three more. Next up, we have three more. And then we fall on the ground. All right. It is the fall edition. Shut up. Hello. <laughs> this is from Cascade Lakes Brewing Company, and it is Salted Caramel Porter. I think it's like pork for a day. <laughs> it's like wild card, no. It's like the bomb and hot ones. You just. Salted Caramel Pork Flavored Beer. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. <laughs> No, salted caramel porter. Why did I have to buy so many thick ones, dude? Oh. Another Guinness looking help. one. I know I abandoned you, but help. <laughs> I haven't, and still help. Oh my God. Why are so in? There's so many thick That's ones, man. Why'd you do this? Holy shit. Two more. This it looks like a wood finished like spray mm -hmm. paint. It's, it it no, it's a it's a tree. You see. I know. So I mean, it looks like the the seal like when you wipe wood and it looks great. Now when you seal it, this is just like come on down to Walmart and buy the Cascade Lake spray paint. It is a beer. I'm about to drink this. Boy, it don't smell like nothing. Very faint. It smells like coffee and geese. That's the worst one. Not not of all of them. That's the worst stout. Out of this stout and out of this stout. You think so? That's the worst one. I think this one's a little better than this one, personally. No way. Let's, the flavor of this one was so much we, better than this the, one. Do you mind trying this one again? A micro, a micro I don't want to. That's fair. Okay, I'll try it. You can if you want. This one to me is worse. This tastes, this tastes more like metallic-y. It tastes more like I'm, I'm tasting the can with this one for sure. Eat this. I think this one was better and this one was really that strong. Cool. That one's bad. It was too much alcohol. I think the flavor is good. If they take out like 3% alcohol of this, it's really good. This one is like, I would not drink that. Flavor wise, I would not drink that. I would put that one over here. Oh, a burp warning. I'd put it over there personally. What do you think? The, the more I'm sitting on it, the more I'm wishing I didn't just pour this. Well, you did. Because the aftertaste of that one's really bad. That? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> like, initially, it's kind of sweet at first. Like, the initial hit is, like, un it's not as powerful as these two coffees, but... Or the Guinness, whatever. That, uh, but, dude, this linger is fucking nuts. This was a worse linger, though. I hated this one. It lingered. Well, it that was, was, so, that was stuck too, in my mouth. That's what I mean. It's too strong of alcohol. Like, you get too much of that alcohol flavor from that. Mm -hmm. That needs to be, like, 6.5%. It'd be a great beer. 95 is too much. I mean, I guess I don't mind the it's alcohol taste, like, if it is, like, bright in the drink, but it's just, like, stuck to you. It was, like, tacky. Yeah, I feel it. That, I don't like this one. Cascade, no, I'm sorry. Not a fan. Oh, actually, you know, you're totally. This is actually really good. <laughs> in and now, I told in, you. In comparison to everything we've had, that's actually pretty solid. Yeah, this one is the All best. Right, yeah. Style. Okay. Yeah, that's my bad. Yeah. yeah okay. Fair. I, I would switch these, but I, I won't argue that much. I don't care. You They're switch these bad. two? Personally, I just had a, a very visceral reaction to this okay, one. Okay, that's but, fair. That's fair. But yeah, I don't care for either of those. I think the flavor of this is better than this, but mm -hmm. I think if. Because this has so much alcohol for me, mm -hmm. it's that not that. that good. If you lower the alcohol content, this would be really, really, really good. Mm -hmm. This one just is bad. Because this one only, I think this one only has, what's the alcohol content percentage here? Con this one only has 5.8. Mm -hmm. And I think that's worse than that. Oh, this one had like a sweet taste, at least at the initial impact. This one was just bad throughout the and then after. <laughs> that's that candy pork. That's that candy pork. All right, two more. Oh my God. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I need a doctor. This one says, dedicated to our forests, Those by the way. Those are cool-ass colors, dude. Uh, shit. Rogue Gumbaroo. And that's the. Damn, that's what the, it looks like well, there. I it's love like that beast. color combo. It's like a, yeah, it's like a purple. Purple, dark, orange, and orange yellow. Red. Yeah, Gumbaroo. It's awesome. West Coast India Pale Ale, and it is 6.8%. It's so fun. Beer and weed strains are so funny when they're like, they try everything to make it sound cool, but it just is going to taste like fucking the thing what it is, that yeah. gets you drunk or high. Yeah. 
<clears throat> that is probably one of my favorite designs so far. I love this one. <laughs> it's a very cool design. Rogue. It looks like a Dan Mumford mm. designs. Yeah. I don't know who that is. <laughs> you agreed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's the guy who did like all the early like metalcore and post hardcore albums, oh. like uh, like uh, Homesick. Oh, that the, like everything okay, looks like yeah, Miami yeah, yeah, and like yeah. everything looks like S Ten Rules and shit. Do you remember Devil Wears Prada, Scarlet O'Hara, Rogue Bumbaroo. <laughs> Imagine that's the last thing you say and you die right now. Don't put Rogue that on me. Bumbaroo. Don't put that on me. <laughs> That just, it tastes like a pale ale. It's pretty good. It's pretty good if you like, actually that's really good if you like pale ales. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a pale ale guy. I personally don't like them that much, but that's actually really good if you like pale ales. Bro, this is awkward because pale ale is subscribed to us on Patreon. <laughs> oh no. That is really good. Yeah, that's a solid beer. I mean, it's fine. <clears throat> Do you want to hear the story of the Gumbaroo? A little bit. As the story goes, Three loggers were camped in the woods drinking beers and entertaining the idea of illegally harvesting old growth sequoias for extra cash. What the fuck's an old growth sequoia? A uh, tree, I believe. When the ground suddenly shook with a heavy footstep, bigger than a bear, with wild eyes and jagged teeth, the gumbaroo rose from behind its stump with a mighty roar. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> As the loggers scrambled to escape, Beer spilled onto the fire, causing smoke to fill the air. Some say the forest only wanted to send them a war send them a warning that might that night, as this stroke of smoky fortune helped hold off the gumbaroo while the loggers got away. So remember to respect our forests, put out your fires, and always bring cold beer camping. That's a lame fucking story. Oh, you know what that is? That is a PSA. All that is is a fucking PSA. Respect your forest, put out your fires, and always bring cold <clears throat> beer. Support our business. Yeah, also, Gumbaroo is, like, the least cool name to give a scary monster. It's, it's not scary at all. It's, like, a, it's, it's very, like, Gumbaroo. a... It's, like, um, uh, Goosebumps. Or, like, like, a... It sounds like one of the names from, like, the Jungle Book. It's, like, Mogwai and Gumbaroo. And Gumbaroo. <laughs> um, I actually like this one. Mogwai, it's I would lonely. probably... If I were to, like, have to drink this at a party, I would probably put it, like... Plus, you're looking pretty cool. Here. I... I Think so? I think so. Yeah, like I mean, right it, it tastes like a, like a pretty standard beer, so like I, I don't hate it or nothing. Uh, I will say, for a pale ale, mm -hmm. it's really good because I yeah. don't like pale ales, and that's actually pretty I, good. Yeah, I don't hate that placement. It's just like God, I love that can. <laughs> I just want to give cool that can. design. Where would you love. put it? Uh, either honestly, like, can like aside. In, in this realm, these three right here, it's, yeah. it's some like these are kind yeah. of interchangeable. I'm, I don't fully remember this one. It was just. I remember. I like this one, but like, if I had to drink a bunch of them, I prefer it to not to be spicy all night. So I yeah. probably like that. Oh, I see what you're saying because mm -hmm. of the spice, yeah. But I don't remember what that one tastes like. I was just like, it was in innocuous. It was fine. It's funny that a lot of the higher upper ones are just like, oh, it didn't make me want to die. Last all right, one. Last one. I'm dude. I'm just getting amped up. This is, this is my off, second wind. Off centered art series, dogfish head, pumpkin ale with an N. Punkin, bro, you were they were gonna you were gonna sound schizophrenic trying to order that at a bar. Can I get the donkey shit pumpkin ale? Oh, you want the donkey ale? <laughs> Brown ale brewed with pumpkin and spices, seven percent alcohol. Twenty twenty three off centered art. Dentist. Hey, hold on. Twenty twenty three <laughs> off centered art series artist uh, Natalia Balthnova. Thank you for the art, Natal Natalia. Natalia, I'm gonna say, pumpkin ale. All right, capital N. Yep, and it's not dark. Sweet. There you go. Well, it's actually really light. We can only do one of these episodes like a year. Every five years. Cause like, fuck, dude, it's so much. All right. Diboja. Well, there's a lot going on there. What the fuck? Hmm. There's so much Ooh. happening there. Whoa, that's really florally. At the Did end. you get like three? Yeah, I kept changing. You it got was... you got like three different. Oh man. Scenes. 
Yeah, it's like somebody wrapped lettuce in kale, and then in the middle was a flower. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> I I was getting like I would have like a taste, and then it would morph into a yeah. new taste, and it would morph into another taste. Was the last? Did you get floral at the end? Like it was like an intense. It, I literally feels like I just put a dandelion in my mouth. So our, so right off the bat, it's like bitter. It's like drying my mouth out. It's got citrus. It's got citrus. Very floral. Yeah, and then then the floral kicks in. Yeah. It's weird. It's like a, I wouldn't drink much of it. It's not bad. It's it's like an art piece. It's like foam. I think it's like an art strange. piece. It's like it, it it morphs. It doesn't like yeah. sit still. Mm -hmm. Cause even now it's like okay now I'm tasting like. Yeah, it's interesting. I like, I like that. It like oak or hops. something. Mahogany. Yeah, maybe. What do you think? Number two. This? Yeah. You like it that much? It's interesting. I didn't like how foamy it was, but that was probably I would probably it. do something like this. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm not mad at this. I need to try this one again. This one keeps winning out on things, I, and I don't remember what this tastes like. It's just very basic, like pumpkin ale. Oh, that's pretty solid. All right, it's, it's like a beer you would actually drink if you go to like a friend's okay, yeah, place. That, okay, yeah, that's fair. It's pretty good. Mm, yeah. Interesting. Would you change any of these? <clears throat> um, maybe just this one. I might this put one? I might put this one like a little higher, but that's about like it. Like right around here. Yeah, well, I'd still put probably this one above this. But switch these two. Yeah. What do you think? Um. Other than the fact that I'm not a super sour drinker, what would your what would yours be without my this? What mine, would your top one be? <clears throat> mine would honestly the first one. The first one we tried, mm -hmm. I think, is still my favorite. If I was gonna actually go to like a fall get together and have a few drinks and be like, hey, have a beer, man, mm -hmm. I would bring these. Like the, typical human. The, uh, Hello, have a beer, man. Yeah, <laughs> the atomic pumpkin, because these are good. Mm -hmm. Your friends would be like, damn, that's really good. Like, oh, that's fast, And you could enjoy it as well. Where would you move this to? Probably just like, like here, maybe? Like here, like okay. third. Okay. Third or fourth, maybe, for yeah. me. Yeah. Um, Kind of like right about there. I respect it. I respect that. I think that's, and then uh, fuck this one. Yeah, that one's not even in the ranking. I'm Honestly, trying to I feel that there... way about the, the, these three could go. You know what I would say? I would say this one, actually, uh, might, maybe even worse Oh, than interesting. One. For me, personally. Yeah, I don't even want to try either of them again to question Because, like, this one was bad. This one, like, made me aware of how bad it was. <laughs> Does that make sense? Right, like, you're like, this is pretty bad, and then you had that, and you're like, whoa, it this, gets deeper? Yeah, this one's aggressively <laughs> bad. Mm -hmm. When you go this one's just deeper bad. in the dream and in Inception, you're like, there's more. And then, this is, this is kind of, I, I hated know. that one. Maybe, I'm so surprised you are fucking with that one. No, trust me, dude, if this was 6%, it would be delicious. The actual flavor palette of the stout is really good, except for... Dude, it it like, doesn't it taste like, anything like, like pumpkin spice. It was like cacao chocolate. It doesn't taste... Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it had that a little like... bit. <laughs> but <laughs> I think it's it's tolerable if it's less percentage. It's also tall, so that's funny. Mm -hmm. It's tolerable. This one was good. The flavor palette on this one, best stout of the night. Yeah, for sure. Out of the stouts, Undisputed. this one is the best. Undisputed. This was fine. I just not my thing. This one's good. That one is interesting. I would like... This is something that I would like get stoned mm -hmm. and then drink one beer and, and just, just like sip on it. Yeah, you feel good. That's like, like you like said, there's, have something, like the, there's like, something artistic about it. Like you said, going to like a watch a play or something and you're like, yeah, it, so I'll, it like changes. I'll take the uh, the dogfish head pumpkin ale. Pumpkin ale. Please. This is the only one that the flavor palette changes multiple times. Yo, this one though, this one does that too, just maybe not in the best Not order. for me. This one is the only one that actually had like multiple different like oh wow now i'm getting the pumpkin now i'm getting bitter now i'm getting you know something else the multiple sclerosis yes <laughs> yeah after this video probably so this one's good this one's all right this one's really good and then atomic pumpkin is i think the best we should have yeah I'm end, not, ended with this one i'm not mad about atomic pumpkin winning with this one's definitely my favorite let me have a little bit more. I'll have one more to cheer it off with you. 
dream sour patch. boys. Where are my sour boys at? Just a little bit. I mean, I like sour stuff. I just don't know if that is the sour. That yeah, I, I mean, there's definitely better sours for sure. But I just, get, I just get excited when there is a sour beer. You know what bothers me about it? It tastes like wine coolers that my parents used to drink. Mm. They used to. I've seen Sheila on the weekends. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Used to drink. Like, it tastes like a wine cooler, which is, like, fine. But it's not, I don't know. Atomic Pumpkin, the winner, I think, in my opinion. I'm not mad about it. And in Austin's opinion, mm -hmm. wait, which one? This one? Yeah, yeah. In Austin's opinion, Dream Patch, Fruited yeah. Sour wins, in, either in my universe, opinion, Atomic Pump. Also not mad about this guy taking second. That one's actually pretty good. Yeah. I We both agree on that. Mm -hmm. I would put that in second place. Yeah, he's, he's like a, between, like realistically, he's a third because if we both do first and second of these, they'd switch, but that's pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I would say me, one, two, mm -hmm. like this. That'd be three, though? And then, um, uh, cool. it might be three, four, three or four, yeah. Cause this one is just like, this one's like an experience. I don't know. This dogfish one, it was like, it was very much like an experience. It's an experience, but I don't know if it's one I want to stay at. Ha well, that's why I said like, get a little mm -hmm. stoned, drink one. Yeah, that's, that's You know good. what I mean? Like don't sit there and have six. Right. That would be ridiculous. If I were to have to have a six pack of uh, any of these, uh, it would either be one of these two. Yeah, th this mm -hmm. one would get old because of the the heat at the back of the throat. Yeah, and the spice. This one is just like a good pumpkin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, beer. if you had a six like a six pack of this, maybe just two of these, I I could drink this all night. <laughs> I, I, I could have a uh, hundred of those. Yeah, I could not. I'm a freak. I'm a freak. I'm a fucking freak. Well, there you go. Thank you everybody for watching that video. Hope you like the all one fall. Word. Festival Halloween beer tier oh, no. list. Oh no, I've fallen and I can't get up. Um, maybe now if you're going to an event and you want to bring some festive beer, you could look for any of these. And you want to look cool. Like. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. You can follow us on Patreon if you would like and support us there mm -hmm. to keep drinking beer. <laughs> no. Legally, I do have to tell you, if you follow us on Patreon, a ghost will start to haunt you for the rest of your <laughs> life. It is an unnegotiable blood. You don't podcast. say that, dude. You don't say I, that. I, I, dude, I was talking to the demon. He said I have to disclose it legally. His boss was pretty... Corporate was mad at him for not disclosing that initially. So we got to do a little uh, damage control here. Just Anyways. know that if you do subscribe... <laughs> <laughs> if nothing more, go check out our Patreon. Look at the perks that we offer, the tier list that we have. If you want some extra content, that'd be a great place mm -hmm. to check that out. And um, Just know that you will be cursed for life. Yeah, cursed for life. Thank you. Shout out. Goodbye forever. Now that we're drunk, we have to film a podcast. <laughs> what about a throbcast? <laughs> yeah, that's Where we just the direction get, we just it's headed. Get, how about the erection it's headed? Because it's a throbcast. That was good. That was good. End of the video. Done. Cut it. Done with you.